Okay. Uh, let's have the next uh, situation. Uh, what is some? What is some, friend? The portable seat shawl is braced by cable FG with permissible tension of 1,950 newtons. So, yung allowable uh, tensile load niya. Surfaces at C, D, and E are frictionless. Given the following data, okay, X is uh, 0.6 meters, X1 is 0.15, X2 is 0.3, and then H1 is 0.4, H2 is uh, 0.2, H2 here, is 3 here is 0.2 also. Okay? Ang unang tanong, uh, the safe flow W that the seat can support. Uh, okay, ilagay natin yung mga data. Ayan. So, the maximum W, the safe flow W, given yung permissible tensile force of the cable, no, 1,950. So, the maximum W that the seat can support. Pangalawa, ang part 2 and part 3, given ang W na, una hinanap yung reaction sa C, Ang part 3 naman ay hinanap yung total reaction at B. So ano ba yung um, ano dito? No? Ma supports. Okay, so A is simply supported. That is simple support. Pin dito, hinge, and uh, uh, this serve as roller. No? And then ito naman, nakapin dito sa B. May cable tayo dito. Okay? Externally, we only have two unknowns. No? Because E and C are frictionless. So no problem, you see moment, makukuha natin yan. Ha? So, in fact, part 1 here, part 2 is very easy. Moment ka lang dito sa A, makukuha mo na yung reaction sa C. Ayun part 1, ano daw yung safe W that can be supported? Okay, 1,950 yung ating allowable tensile load or permissible tensile force ng cable. Okay, sige, dahil natin yung... Uh, Part 1, the reactions here. We have reaction at E, R, E, and vertical lang, walang horizontal. And then, ang reaction naman sa C is R, C only. Okay? So, kunin natin yung reactions. Summation of moment about E tayo equals 0. So, we have W times 0.15. It, let's make this in terms of W lang muna. Ha? W times 0.15. Okay? Equals, diretso lang ta, tayo, RC times 0.6. So your RC is 0.25W. And of course, RE plus RC equals W. So therefore, ang RE natin is 0.75W. So, klaro na yan. Okay. Target natin kunin yung ano. Kunin natin yung FG. Ang gagawin natin ganito. We have two options here. Ha? Pwede natin... Uh, I-isolate itong member ABC, so which we already have here. So with that, we also need the reaction at A. You can also do it using EDDE, DBE. Ikaw lang pipili. Na? Okay? So, but in any case, kailangan natin ang reaction sa A at sa D. Okay? Sige. So, uh, isolate natin yung beam na to. Isolate natin. Ito, ito yun. Ha? So, point 15 yung ating W distance, A and D. The reactions are, RA, meron tayong uh, vertical reaction at A and vertical reaction at D. Obviously, wala tong horizontal. Kasi the load is only vertical. Kaya may resistance siya sa horizontal. Pero walang vertical load. Kaya vertical lang yung reaction sa A. And by the way, by looking at the figure, cast rate ito, well, obviously, magmomoment tayo sa A just like what we did here. Ang reaction sa A tsaka yung reaction sa E are the same. Diba? Klaro na yan. And also, the reaction at D is also 0.25W. So, meron na tayong RA. So, RC natin is already known. RA is known. O, pwede na natin ma-isolate itong member na to. Itong ABC. Isolate natin. Ito yun, ha? A, B, C. Nandito yung G. No, yung cable. Okay, nandyan. Na? So, the force is here. Okay, we have here your RA acting here, downward. Upward yan, downward dito. This is 0.75W. And your RC here. This is 0.25W. Ito, ito. 0.25W. And the unknown tension of this cable here. 
Tawagin natin P. Uh, by the way, the distance from here to here is 0.2. Ito yung distance. Ang distance, we need the moment arms. Kunin natin. Ang moment arm naman, of, uh, kasi mag-moment mag -moment tayo dito ngayon sa B. Kasi there are two anons at B. Pag mag-moment ka sa B, the only anon left is the tension. Okay. So, moment arm, ito naman siya is 0.3. Kalahati ng 0.6. Na? Also, this one here. This is also 0.3. Okay. So, kompleto na yata. What? Okay, yun lang. And the reaction at B, dalawa yan. Yes, yun lang natin na to the right ito. Ah, well, klaro naman ito to the right. Kasi ito to the left. And, okay, upward. Uh, upward dyan, klaro na yan. Kasi 0.75 yan. Ito 0.25. Kulang. So, this should be 0.5. Diba? Okay. So, those are the reactions in that... Uh, Uh, member A, B, C Okay? Sige Moment tayo sa B Summation of moment about B equals 0 So what do we have? Nakwais mo na T times 0.2 Equals counterclockwise Okay? 0.75 times 0.3 Plus 0.25 W times 0.3 Ayos So here, makukuha natin yung T in terms of W. 1.5 W. Okay? And since given man yung T, 1950 ba yun? The permissible uh, tension of the cable is 1950. Lagay natin dito, makukuha natin yung W. And the answer is 1,300 newtons ang ating W. Letter B yung sagot. Okay? Ah, by the way, Ah, uh, kung napansin niyo no, ang sum nitong dalawang reaction nito is always W. Notice that this is a line. Naka-align yung dalawang 'yan, no? Ang sum nitong dalawa reaction dito sa reaction dito W. Kung titingnan niyo, 0.75W times 0.3, 0.75W times 0.3, that will become simply 1. 0.75 0.25, 1. 'Di So kung baka, kahit saan mo pa ilagay yung W na yan. No? Kahit saan mo pa, kahit halimbawa, ito ay magiging 0.4. Ang sum ng dalawang reaction na yan will always be W. Kaya na, may formula ito. Ang formula, ang relationship ng tension tsaka yung weight, no? uh, ito yun. No? Maderive mo to. One half WX. W ito, ito yung X. Equals the tension of the cable times itong, itong HH2 na ito. Yan yung equation. You can try using that. So, notice in this formula, and the formula is not a function of 0.15. It will not be a function of 0.15. Kaya, kasi kahit saan mo ilagay yung W, the, ang, ang magre-result yan, yung sum ng dalawang reaction na yan is always W. Huh? So, ito yung lalabas na equation. You can use this. One half, one half W times X equals tension times H2. Ito yung H2. Ha? Okay. Sige. So, puntahan natin na next part. Part 2 and part 3 na lang, isahin na lang natin. Na this time, given na yung W. Noong W, what is the reaction at C? Okay? So, we can use this equation. Di ba? Kasi ito ba yung moment? Ha? So, 0.25 W. So, that's 275 Newton. So, letter D yung sagot. And part 3, what is the reaction at B? The reaction at B. So, kailangan natin ng tension. This time, gagamitin ko na lang yan. Ha? So, we need here your BH and BV. Your BH equals T. Ayos. And your T can be solved from here. That will become 1 half WX over... H sub 2. One half W times X divided by H sub 2. And that's 1,650. O, ginamit ko na lang itong equation. Na? 1,650. So, may BH na tayo. And then, summation of process vertical 0. Okay? BV plus 0.25W equals 0.75W. So, your BV is 0.5W. Or that is 550. 
Ito. So, meron na tayong BH and BB. Uh, pwede na tayong gumamit ng Pythagorean theorem. Uh, uh, common error dito, ang sasagutin ninyo ay sa 550. That's only vertical. Ang, tina ang tinang reaction. So, kung meron tayong horizontal at vertical, it should be understood na yan, uh, resultant reaction. Uh, itong 550 is just component. Pati yan, component lang yan. No? So, by Pythagorean theorem, masolve natin yung RB. 1,739. Okay? So, maraming magkamali dito. Either ito yung sagot nila or ito. Ha? So, letter A ang sagot. Okay? Okay.